So you have fast ion channels, slow metabotrophic receptors, and you have various different varieties of these in the cell membrane of each cell. So the regulation is very complex. What you're getting is multiple channels through which a cell can understand, interact and respond to what's going on in its environment. Receptors can also be varied. So for example, if a cell is suddenly getting a very strong signal from glutamate, from neighbouring neurons perhaps, or also from glial cells, then what that cell can do is something called downregulation. A receptor is not fixed in the membrane forever. Receptors, like all other proteins in the cell, are made in the cell nucleus in the middle of the cell body. That cell nucleus contains the DNA and the replicating machinery which codes for all the various proteins that the cell needs. And there are a lot of cell proteins. For example, a recent study of synapses, which we'll come to, showed about 1,400 different proteins in just one area of the cell. So we're talking a lot of machinery here that is being made taken by reading it off the genes, turning it into RNA, then turning it into protein. Receptors are made just like that and then they are shipped out to the cell surface and embedded into the membrane. But they have a life cycle. They can be taken out of the membrane, recycled into the cell. And that's called downregulation. And when the cell gets a big strong signal of a particular neurotransmitter, such as glutamate, it then responds by downregulating the receptors for glutamate and that makes the cell less sensitive. It's a sort of negative feedback cycle. And similarly, if you get a weak signal, you can upregulate by pumping out more receptors to increase the cell's sensitivity. So this is a very flexible and changeable environment. The cell is constantly monitoring what's coming in to its receptors and adjusting their quantities accordingly.